Hello students. Today we will see one of the most important topic for your GET Excel examination. And in that GET Excel, uh, if you people have your microbiology as a core subject, so for that microbiology, we will learn the most important topic. And that is nothing but your microbial metabolism. Now you guys may have the question in your mind, like why metabolism is important. Whenever you go for the study of any type of microbiology or the biochemistry, in both the sections, now you will find some breach in between those two subjects, okay? In between these two subjects. And the thing is that breach is nothing but the metabolism, the reactions which are occurring in your body or inside bacteria or in plants. So all those things are connected. And that's why that is the common link which we are going to study today. And that is the very important topic. So let's start. Now, when we go for metabolism, firstly, you guys should understand what is this metabolism? Like, what does it signify? What is, uh, how can you define the metabolism? Okay. In the case of microbes, we are going to study, no doubt. But when you first uh, hear the word metabolism, now, at that time, what you guys want to remember or what you can guess is basically, uh, suppose the process of digestion is there. Okay. It is occurring in your body. So that you can uh, give as an example of the metabolism, then respiratory system, which is uh, continuously doing its work that you can give as the metabolism. That is th the kind of a metabolism. When you go for the digestion of a food at that time, it goes inside your stomach. Many types of juices get mixed into it and then it is digested. Then it passes through small intestine, large intestine, and then some waste uh, matter is excreted out. That is the another part. So all this process is nothing but the food has been metabolized in your body to give you the energy. Okay. So this is the kind of a metabolism. Whenever we go in the case of microbes, microbes also require the nutrient. They take the nutrient to do their work that we have studied. What type of nutrients it take uh, like in uh, your growth or in microbial growth section, you will have the good hold on that topic over there. But in metabolism also, it requires some nutrient. So after like after taking that nutrient, there's, there must be some reaction. Okay, after that reaction, after the happening of that reaction, your microbes will, uh, microbes can convert that food into some of the energy through which they can do their work. So when we go for metabolism, suppose you consider the example of the glucose. So you should know how this glucose is metabolized. Like glucose is taken by the microbes. Now it is converted into what? That is the question. How it is converted? Okay. How, what, like why it is converted? So there are many things. Okay. And to learn about all this, like to find the answer of these questions, we are going to study the metabolism. Now see. Metabolism is nothing but it is the uh, total of your chemical reactions. Okay, whenever you go for the metabolism, there must be some of the chemical reactions and uh, including all those chemical reactions will lead to the proper procedure of the metabolism that is going to occur inside the cell, in the microbial cell. Now, these chemical reactions are summarized further. So, metabolism can be divided into energy conserving and your anabolism. Okay, anabolism means, uh, see, energy conserving means it will um, use some of the energy to metabolize. And anabolism means it will do it by itself without using any type of energy. So, that's why your metabolism is divided into two major parts. So, in the energy conserving reactions or the fueling reactions where energy is required, the energy provided to the cell by the energy source is released means whatever energy you are going to provide to cell, that energy is released. That is released and it is going to be converted as ATP. It will be conserved in the form of ATP. That is nothing but adenosine triphosphate. Now, these reactions are referred as the catabolism reaction. Okay, so catabolism is energy conserving. This energy conserving is nothing but your catabolism. Now, ATP, ATP is your high energy molecule. Okay, ATP requires very high energy and it will serve as the cell's energy currency. Okay, uh, like when you go for the ATP is nothing but you should remember whenever there is the uh, scene or there is the matter of the energy at that time ATP you should remember. So ATP is your high energy molecule and this ATP will serve, serve as the energy currency for the cell. Now it links energy yielding exogenic reaction to energy consuming endogenic reactions means the reactions that are uh, going to release some of the energy will be exothermic. Okay, heat will release exothermic. Heat will be consumed endothermic. In the same way, when energy is released, exogenic. When energy is consumed, they are endogenic. Now you will have the oxidation reduction reaction. Like one will be the um, addition of oxygen, one will be the uh, addition of the hydrogen or the redu reduction of the oxygen. Okay, 
so uh, these reactions are important in conserving the energy processes that cell will carry out now when electrons are transferred from the electron donor with a more negative reduction potential to an electron acceptor with more positive potential energy is available see whenever there is transfer of energy obviously it will be from the uh, negative reduction potential to the positive one means one will not have one will have if uh, you are a have some of the electron b is uh, uh, electron deficient obviously a will donate some of the electron to b that is the thing okay this we all have studied in chemistry in the same way energy is being transferred okay this is what mentioned over here so the all these points are nothing but th these points comes under the section that is known as the metabolism so this whole procedure this overall funda is going to lead to the thing that is the metabolism now one by one we will see see now here in this picture what you can see is your energy source like depending on energy source you will have some of the molecules depending on the carbon source depending on the electron source okay and this is nothing but the end uh, your cell that is going to consume all these things if your energy source is there then in energy source what it will be it can be your chemo organotroph it can be your chemo lithotroph or phototroph phototroph means they will require light as the source in chemo lithotroph inorganic molecule will be there chemo organotroph from the word organo you can remember organic molecule so all these molecules what they will release they will give the atp now atp will have the energy now with the help of this energy your monomers and other building blocks like your proteins are formed and these other building blocks like amino acid will lead to macromolecule like protein and now this is consumed by your microbial cell and then it will metabolize okay this is the one way the second way if you have the carbon source in carbon source you will have the autotroph you will have the heterotroph in autotroph you guys uh, know autotroph basically they consume the co2 uh, heterotroph they will have the organic molecule now all this co2 and organic molecule they won't release atp but they will work as the precursor okay for um, precursor or metabolites means for any type of metabolism at uh, initial stage or in starting level you will require some of some things okay some electrons or some things that will lead to the further procedure so these are nothing but your precursor or the metabolites now these precursors and met, uh, precursor and metabolites will lead to formation of the monomer and other building block that building block will further lead to formation of your macromolecule and then that macromolecule will be consumed by your microbial cell and then cell will perform its function okay so this is the one thing now when you go for the electron source okay this is the second point carbon source this is a this is b now the c is your electron source in electron source you will have the lithotroph you will have the organotroph organotroph means organic molecule lithotroph means inorganic molecule they will have the reducing power means your electrons are reduced and the same thing is happening further monomers and the building blocks are there macromolecules will be formed they are taken by your basically microbial cells so this is just the uh, like uh, this is the summary what exactly is metabolism okay now in aerobic respiration so see in aerobic respiration okay i will put it over here you will have the three stages in aerobic respiration you guys will have three stages stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 now in stage 1 you will have the protein now this proteins these are macromolecules these are broken down into the amino acid after uh, breaking them down into the amino acid they have further various pathway okay after breaking them down into amino acid they will release the nh2 over here nh3 and then further what will happen these molecules will lead to over here oxaloacetate and then further they will go into the cycle that is known as the tca cycle or krebs cycle tricarboxylic acid cycle now the thing is if you have the polysaccharides okay polysaccharides if you have uh, over here some of the polysaccharides then they are converted into the monosaccharides okay now after converting them into monosaccharides this monosaccharides will further lead to formation of the molecule known as the pyruvate so here in monosaccharide you can take the example of the glucose suppose polysaccharide uh, you will have the sucrose okay or you will have the lactose mannose so that can be anything so these are the polysaccharides now this polysaccharides disaccharides basically now they if they are broken down your glucose molecule is released if your glucose is released then uh, okay these are basically disaccharides if your glucose is released then your glucose will lead to formation of the pyruvate through the process known as the glycolysis now after formation of, while formation uh, while the formation of pyruvate is occurring 
जो एटीपी इज रिलीज सम अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज रिलीज सम एनएडीएच मॉलिक्यूल निकोटिनमाइन एडेनिन डाइन्यूक्लियोटाइड मॉलिक्यूल आर फॉर्म नाउ व्हेन दिस पाइरुवेट्स आर रिलीज दिस पाइरुवेट विल फर्दर लीड टू फेट्स ऑफ पाइरुवेट ओके नाउ व्हाट इज यू गाइस हैव द विल हैव द क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड व्हाट इज फेट्स ऑफ पाइरुवेट हाउ like what exactly it is what is uh, in aerobic condition what will occur in anaerobic condition what will happen so study to study all these things in detail you can join our batch that is target get xc excel 2024 and in that batch in live session you will have the good hold on this topic that is the metabolism there we are going to study you in depth what exactly the metabolism is and how the phase of pyruvate and all those things are there okay now uh, when after the pyruvate this pyruvate is converted to a acetyl coa molecule now this acetyl coenzyme a this molecule will go into the tricarboxylic acid cycle when it goes into that cycle then your cycle will run and it will lead to formation of the citrate then for the isocitrate alpha ketoglutarate and uh, at the end it will go again to the acetyl coa and this cycle will take place okay this is the thing now the third thing is if you have the lipid now lipids are converted to glycerol and fatty acid now when you have the glycerol glycerol will go into the formation of the pyruvate and it will further lead to further reaction when you have the fatty acid this fatty acid will go up to the acetyl coenzyme a okay this fatty acid will go and it will bind with acetyl coenzyme a and then this both the molecules of glycerol and fatty acid at the end they will run the tca cycle and the nadh and fadh which is released over here now this nadh and fadh it will go uh, into the, like it will form the coenzyme q over here and then cytochrome cytochrome q over here cytochrome and then it will lead to form the oxygen o2 and all these things will release the atp also it will take some of the atp fadh nadh molecules from the tca cycle and like the co2 which is released over here in your tca cycle it will uh, at the end it will goes into the electron transport chain etc okay we will see in further classes what exactly etc is and what is occurring in etc today we will focus on your glycolysis how it is going to happen glycolysis okay so this is the aerobic respiration in in, in anaerobic that is in lack of oxygen you will have some of the different kind of reaction that we will see in next session now your further pathway is embedded mare of pathway this is nothing but this is your uh, glycolysis okay here you can see this is nothing but this is your glycolysis now see the name is given due to the scientist embedded mare of pathway it is it is the most common pathway for the glucose degradation so in glycolysis what is going to occur you will have the glucose now this glucose will be converted into your pyruvate okay so this is what going to happen in the glycolysis so this is the pathway that is required for the glycolysis uh, it functions in the presence or absence of oxygen it can work in the uh, aerobic or anaerobic condition as noted earlier it is also important anabolic pathway and provide the several precursor metabolite it will uh, provide further a precursor metabolite for the further reactions and uh, that is basically the helpful thing okay so this is the positive side of your glycolysis now when you go for the glycolysis it occurs where does it occur it occurs in the cytoplasmic matrix of your prokaryotes and eukaryotes so you guys have to remember according to your exam point of view you should remember where this glycolysis is going to take place now it will happen in the cytoplasmic matrix of both the cells your prokaryotes and eukaryotes and what is happening in glycolysis in glycolysis your glucose is converted to pyruvate okay now we will see the reaction now in this glycolysis reaction what you can see over here is you have the glucose now this glucose molecule is converted to glucose 6 phosphate as one phosphate molecule is added at the sixth position you can see this pink color dots are nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is sixth one at sixth one this po4 this is nothing but this is the phosphate so phosphate group is added or it is attached at the sixth carbon so hence the glycolysis glucose turns to glucose six phosphate now this phosphate uh, ye kahan se aa raha hai yahan pe okay from where does it come so it is coming from your atp your atp is converted to adp means your triphosphate is converted to diphosphate obviously one phosphate molecule is released that molecule goes and attached over here 
now this glucose six phosphate it uh, again convert to fructose six phosphate now glucose and fructose six phosphate as nothing but isomer okay so enzyme required over here is isomerase this is the isomerization only glucose the structural changes are going to occur okay glucose to fructose oh, okay now the thing is your uh, functional changes are going to occur now the thing is now this fructose six phosphate is converted to fructose one six bisphosphate now again phosphate molecule is added at the first position now phosphate ka se aayega ab ye ye aayega aapke atp se atp jab aapka adp mein convert ho jayega aapka ek phosphate molecule release ho jayega and that phosphate is added at the first position so here what you can see is it is fructose 16 bisphosphate now after this what exactly is going to happen now this fructose 16 bisphosphate it will lead to two type of reaction okay, okay. actually it is inter convertible it is converted into dhap and pg with the glycerol react g phosphate okay this and this uh, dihydroxy acetone phosphate dhap and P, uh, glycerol react g phosphate this fructose once it is phosphate is converted now this glycerol react g phosphate and this dhap these are inter converted now what will happen as these are inter interconvertible your reaction is going to happen same like see ye glycerol g3 phosphate ye ho gaya aapka teen carbon wala ye dhap ho gaya teen carbon wala so ye teen carbon wala aage ja ke pyruvate form karega pyruvate will be your three carbon molecule ye pyruvate form karega ye bhi three carbon matlab total kitne pyruvate mile in one glycolysis you will get two pyruvate means one glucose will lead to two pyruvate okay this is what happening one glucose molecule will lead to two pyruvates now see how the pyruvates are formed now see yahan tak humne dekh liya ki fructose 16 base phosphate hai aapke paas isse aapka aa gaya glycerol dh3 phosphate और डीएचएपी डायहाइड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्सीड्रोक्स
now for each one just you have to remember how it is going to occur see you do not have to mug up the things what you have to do is you have to understand you should know the basic how it is formed now from glucose to glucose 6 phosphate here you can easily guess like glucose the aapka ho gaya glucose 6 phosphate phosphate add ho gaya atp triphosphate usse ek nikal liya phosphate add kar diya to try ki jo to kya bachega that this is what you can remember now glucose 6 phosphate se fructose 6 6 phosphate ban gaya kyunki ye isomerase enzyme ki wajah se these two are isomers same phosphate position will remain same now it will lead to 13 bis phosphate fructose 16 bis phosphate Now one six bis phosphate मतलब all एक phosphate add हो रहा है phosphate कैसे add होता है ATP to ADP that you guys are know known with it. Now the fructose one six bis phosphate it will lead to formation of the glycerol D H three phosphate and your D H A P which two are interconvertible. Now this glycerol D H three phosphate it is further converted to one three bis phosphoglycerate. Now in one three bis phosphoglycerate ये three phosphate से bis phosphate में कैसे convert हो गया? One thing it has been oxidized N A D A plus is reduced it will release You, uh, the uh, NADH plus it will release the hydrogen ion. Okay. Now the second thing is it is phosphorylated by adding the phosphate group. That's why one three bis phosphoglycerate. Now this one three bis phosphoglycerate is converted to three phosphoglycerate. That is your phosphate molecule is released. So phosphate molecule that has been released it is taken by your ADP and then hence ADP is converted to ATP. Now three phosphoglycerate to two phosphoglycerate आ गया position change हो गई. Two phosphoglycerate to phosphoenol pyruvate आ गया क्योंकि H two निकल गया वहाँ से. This step you have to remember. Suppose in exam you will have the question like in which type of glycolysis your H two O is removed, or after removing the water molecule, what you got, what you get in the glycolysis. So you get the phosphoenol pyruvate when you remove the H two O from the three phosphoglycerate. Now after removing this phosphoenol pyruvate, so जब आपका ADP ATP में बन जाएगा मतलब एक phosphate और ये release कर देगा आपको मिल जाएगा pyruvate at the end. So this is the whole glycolysis. Okay, this is the whole procedure of glycolysis, and you should know this procedure. It is very very important. This is the very first step of your microbial metabolism. Further, you will have the citric acid cycle that is nothing but your TCA. Then you will have the CAM pathway. You will have many many reactions, including photosynthesis, light reaction, dark reaction. But this glycolysis is the best, and there are many more things to study, including your For the metabol like for glycolysis, me ATP how to calculate करेंगे at the end कितने ATP मिलेंगे क्या होगा so to learn all those things in depth you can join our live session this is all for our today's session thank you for joining for more such informative it be uh, for more such informative videos please like our channel and do subscribe do subscribe the video okay thank you.